we need to find another reason to live in a beautiful way and follow our heart besides it might create big change. If you condition everything on some notion of bigness defined by whatever metrics, number of people influenced or you know, hectares of land converted or something like that, then you're gonna skip over all of the small things that people need to be doing as a mass, as a collective, that none of them on their own actually make sense. Like there's part of me, you know, when I go to recycle my bottles, you know, or compost my, my, my waste, it's like, well, what good does it do? You know, I'm just subtracting one plastic bottle from the enormous trash heap that gets shipped to India and is making new mountains in India and China, you know, of, of waste. Like, what does it matter? One bottle different. What does it matter if I return my organic matter to the, to the soil instead of, you know, flushing it into the ocean, essentially? Um, like, eutrophication is still going to happen. Algae blooms, pollution, it's still happening. Whether or not I contribute to it, what difference does it make? And in the story of separation, there's no good answer for that. You can say, well, if everybody did it, then it would make a difference. So you have to do your part. But part of, part of you will say, well, I'm not everybody. And if everybody does it, then it doesn't matter if I do it. So we have to have another reason besides some conception of bigness. To me, for me, it comes down to relationship and ritual. I like to save my compost and I like to pee outside and use composting toilets, for example. Um, not because I've done some calculation that this is gonna save the world, but because it's a different kind of relationship with the beings around me. It's almost like, yeah, this apple core, what do you want, apple core? Oh, do you wanna get put in the landfill? No, you wanna get buried in my garden, you know? What do you want, P? Like, what feels good to me? When I'm in the recognition of my relationship to all beings, what feels good? I don't need, it's not that, I'm unaware of systemic considerations and the need for any sustainable society to use its manure. Like I'm aware of that, but I don't do it because of that. That information feeds into my understanding and feeds into who I am, but I don't choose from that calculating mindset. So really, I mean, you could almost say, um, trust what feels loving in the moment, um, not ignoring your intellectual knowledge, but not acting from that. Trust what feels loving, trust what feels good, trust what feels aligned with who you really are. If you live by that and spread that vibe and other people start living by that, then the whole planet is gonna change. This is not a substitute for political action it's not a substitute for working on the systems level. Action on that level can also feel like the expression of love. But we shouldn't devalue the small personal things. Otherwise, you get into the mindset of, you know, sacrificing family and relationship and et cetera, et cetera, for the cause. And you become a crusader who doesn't go visit his grandmother when she's on her deathbed who doesn't have the time to take care of children, who doesn't have patience, who doesn't have kindness, you know, who sacrifices the interests of the workers in the NGO and the contractors in the NGO because we're doing something so important. So we can't worry about this stuff right now because we have this all important mission that we have to achieve. And we end up doing the exact same things that are generating a world of ecocide and injustice.